Amen. Isang mapagpalang araw sa ating lahat. Tunay nga na mabuti ang Diyos sa mga nagdaang araw ng ating mga buhay. Kaya naman, tayong lahat ay narito upang nga papas- pasalamatan ng Diyos, alay ng papurit pagsamba sa lahat ng uh, kadakilaan na ginagawa niya sa atin at sa lahat ng awat habag na ibinibigay niya sa atin. Kaya, we as, a, as His children ay nararapat na alain siya ng pag-ibig na wagas at pagpupuri na puro at tapat. As we open this service this afternoon, let us welcome the Holy Spirit in this place and in our heart to God. Jesus.
at tayo po ay yumukha at tayo po ay mananalangin. Panginoon, muli maraming salamat po Panginoon sa oras at araw na ito, Panginoon, na binigyan niyo kami ng pagkakataon na mapuri ka, Panginoon, madakila at masamba ka, Panginoon, at makapakinig ng iyong salita, Panginoon. Panginoon, pinapanalangin po namin, Lord, na na ang mga dadalo, Panginoon, uh, ang mga taong dadalo, Panginoon, ay makikinig, Panginoon, at at bukas, Panginoon, ang puso't isipan, Lord. Hindi masasaktan, hindi hindi kundi mahahamon, Panginoon. Salamat po, Panginoon, sa sa biyaya mo, Panginoon, at sa araw pong ito, patuloy niyo po kami patuloy niyo po kami pagpalain, Panginoon, na, ma, na mapakinggan ang iyong salita, Panginoon. Lord, ikaw nga po ang manguna sa gawaan ito, Panginoon, sa awitan pa lamang namin ay alam namin na tagumpay na ang araw na ito, Panginoon, na 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 ang gagamitin mong lingkod, Panginoon, ay ay pinrepare mo na nga po, Panginoon, itago niyo siya, Panginoon, sa iyong likuran, Panginoon. At lahat ng lalabas sa kanyang bibig ay manggagaling lamang sa iyo, Panginoon. Ikaw ang makita sa buhay ng bawat isa na tatayo dito, Panginoon, at inididi, at, at at idinideklara na namin, Panginoon, ang katagumpay ng gawain nito, Panginoon. Salamat po, Panginoon, sa iyo ang lahat ng papurit pag- pasasalamat sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. Amen. Tunay nga na you are good, O oh God. Ang lahat ng kabutihan ay nagbumula sa iyo, kaya naman patuloy ka namin pupurihin at sasambahin. Let us sing because of your love. Because of your love, everything's changed. Because of your love, I'll never be the same. Your love is perfect. Your love is perfect, and I'll never be afraid. Because of your love, everything's changed. Everything's changed. Because of your grace, because of your grace, everything's changed. Because of your grace, I'll never be the same. I'll never be the same. Your favor and this the precious gift you gave. Because of your grace, everything's changed. Because of your love, because of your love, everything's changed. Because of your love, I'll never be the same. Your love, your love is perfect and I'll never be afraid Because of your love, everything's changed Because of your grace, because of your grace Everything's changed Because of your grace, I'll never be the same I'll never be the same Your favor and deserve the precious gift you gave Because of your grace, everything's changed I have this confidence, I have this confidence That God is on my side All of my days are in your hands Ooh, love so amazing that it cannot be that every day I'm in your place Because of your love Everything's changed Because of your love I'll never be the same Your love is perfect and I'll never be afraid Because of your love Everything is changed because of your grace, because of your grace. Everything's changed because of your grace. I'll never be the same. Your favor, your favor and deserve the precious gift you gave because of your grace. 
everything's changed. I have this confidence. I have this confidence that God is on my side. All of my days are in your head. Love so amazing that it cannot be denied. That every day I'm in your plan. I have this confidence. I have this confidence that God is on my side. All of my days are in your hands. Love so amazing that it cannot be denied. That every day I may your plan. Because of your love, your love, everything's changed. Because of your love, I'll never be the same. Your love, your love is perfect and I'll never be afraid. Because of your love, everything is changed. Because of your grace, because of your grace, everything's changed. Because of your grace, I'll never be the same. Your favor, your favor undeserved, the precious gift you gave. Because of your grace, everything's changed. Because of your love, because of your love, everything's changed. Everything's changed. Because of your love, because of your love, everything's changed. Because of your love, because of your love. Everything is changed. Yes, oh God, we praise you and we thank you, Jesus Christ. We will continue to worship you, oh Lord, for you gave us love. You gave me a love that caused my heart to overflow. You gave me a love much deeper than I've ever known. You have set my feet where I belong. Put it in my heart, a brand new song. You gave me a love over my life, a brand new start. You gave me a love sent straight from heaven to my heart. And you've done my tears and, and let the nation since you gave me love. 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 Once again, you gave, you me, gave me love. You gave me a love that caused my heart to overflow. You gave me a love much deeper than I ever know. You have set my feet where I belong. Put within my heart a brand new song. You gave me. You gave me a love over it. My life a brand new start. You gave me a love sent straight from heaven to my heart. Further than the east is from the west You've taken, you've taken all my sin and brokenness You gave me love, you gave me love I can see, and I can see a better taste ahead All land will dance again because of you 
of you Voices will be heard with shouts of joy You've done mighty things Let the nation sing You gave me love 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 You gave me love, you gave me love, I can see, and I can see a better day ahead, our land will thank again because of, because of you, voices will be heard in shouts of joy, you've done mighty things and let the You gave me love, 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 you gave me love. 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 Yes, God, you gave us love, O oh Lord. We praise you and we thank you, Lord, for your love and mercy. Hallelujah. We will continue to worship you and to dwell in your presence and to, to linger on your words, O oh God. Yes, we got Jesus.
Oh, oh, oh. 
Shit. 
help you yes oh god oh hallelujah oh kuratara oh hallelujah yes jesus glory to you father god yes. hallelujah we praise you and we exalt your name oh god you alone you alone we praise and we love oh god glory to you jesus christ hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for another opportunity to bless your name and worship you and gather just to be able to lift up the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Once again, sa lahat po ng nakikinig, nagaantabay sa ating pong live stream mula rito sa Pilipinas na ating mahal hanggang po sa iba't ibang dako ng mundo. Diyan po sa Australia, Canada, Qatar, Dubai, UAE, United States of America, at dyan po sa Bansang Israel. We love you and we pray for you. And that is exactly what we are going to study today. Alright, have you been watching the news? Kayo po ba ay nakakanood ng uh, current events? Have you been watching how Israel has been attacked? How Israel has been, you know put into the limelight once again. And uh, once Israel becomes the center of attention of world affairs, once Israel becomes the center of attention of current events, then we as Christians, we are the watchmen. Tayo po ay nagaantabay. Tayo po ay... Uh, Nakikinig, tayo po ay interesado, tayo po ay may pakialam. Amen? Because whatever happens to Israel is so connected to us. We are so connected to this land. We are so connected to this people because of our Lord Jesus Christ. Alright? So, ang Panginoong Jesus po ay uh, by nationality, by lineage, is a Jew. And uh, it was for the purpose of saving his people that he came into the earth to, to save them. But there was a hardening. They have rejected their Messiah 2,000 years ago. And so the grace has been transferred from the chosen people to the heathen, to the Gentiles in which we belong. And so the rejection that the Jews had for their Messiah became a blessing to us, so to speak. Hindi po magandang pakinggan, pero dahil po sa ginawa nilang hindi pagtanggap sa kanilang tagapagligtas, sa kanilang Savior, sa kanilang King, yung pong grace dispensation has been given to us. And so this is now the dispensation of grace to the Gentiles. For the last 2,000 years, we have been experiencing that grace. But the time will come when that grace, when that dispensation of grace given to the Gentiles will be over. And that God's attention will once again go back to His chosen people, to the Jews, the chosen nation of God, Israel. And so as I have said, we have to know our responsibility. We have to know our accountability towards God's people. Bakit po natin kinakailangan isilang ipanalangin? Sapagkat in Psalm 122 verse 6, it says, Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May those who love you be secure. That is the NIV version. Now, let me read from the King, Jim, King James Version. It says, Pray for the peace of Jerusalem because they shall prosper that love thee. I love that. 
Gusto ko yung version na yun. I love that version because it is very clear. There is a consequence when you pray for Israel, when you pray for God's people, when you pray for Jerusalem. What will happen? The command says, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper that love thee. If we pray for Jerusalem, if we pray for Israel, if we pray for God's people, the consequence is that we will prosper. If we love them, if we love God's people, if we love Israel, if we love Jerusalem, we will prosper. Amen? So, kung gusto mo palang sumagana, mapagpala sa lahat ng aspeto in every area of your life, this is just one of the secret aside from giving. Alright? Because giving is also acknowledged as one of the secrets towards prosperity. If you want to be blessed, if you want to prosper, give. Because the Bible says, give and it shall be given back to you. Luke 6.38 Amen? Kung gusto po nating sumagana, kung gusto po nating mapagpala, tayo po ay magbigay. Sapagkat sa ating pagbibigay, tayo po ay mapapagpala. It is more blessed to give than to receive. At alam na po natin yan, tayo mga Kristiyano, we know that the secret to our prosperity is in our giving. The secret to our success is in our giving. It is not when you work so hard day and night. Praise God for your industry. Praise God for your kasipagan. But that is not enough. Even if you work very hard, even if you do all you can to let your business grow, to let your business prosper, if the Lord is not at the center of that uh, endeavor, if the Lord is not at the center of your life, if the Lord, if you do not know the system of giving, hindi po ikaw mapapagpala. Sapagkat ang pagbibigay po ay susi ng pagpapala. The key to blessing is giving. Amen? Amen. Alright. Alam natin yan. That's an established fact. But, there is one more. Amen? Gusto mo ng additional blessing? Gusto mo na yung bonus blessing? Gusto mo pa ng prosperity pa? You know, you have been blessed, you have prospered already, but you want to prosper more? Love the people of God. Love Israel. Love Jerusalem. Pray for them. Because Psalm 122 verse 6 says, Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Because they shall prosper that love thee. Okay, gusto ko rin yung NASB or New American Standard Bible. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May they prosper who love you. Amen? May they prosper who love you. If you love Jerusalem, if you Jerusalem is the eternal capital, the eternal city of Israel. If you love them, if you pray for the peace of Jerusalem, you will prosper. Amen? That is very explicitly stated. So if you want, do you want to prosper? People of God, do you want to prosper? Yeah. Prosperity is not only being blessed financially, being blessed materially. Prosperity is encompassing. Prosperity could be, you know, physical health. Amen? Ikaw ay mapagpalang physical. Ikaw ay uh, gumaling sa sakit karamdaman. That is inclusive of prosperity. If Do you have long-standing sickness? Do you have long-standing disease? Do you have long-standing infirmity? Amen? Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. It might be the key to your healing. Amen? Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. You may prosper in your health, in your body, in your business, in your physical uh, situation. Amen po ba? So, pray for the peace. And so, when you pray, it is very specific. Yung pong uh, nais ng Panginoon na ipag-pray natin na hindi lamang basta-basta ipag-pray mo yung Jerusalem. Ano sabi doon? For its peace. Pray for the peace. Why? Because Jerusalem... Since its founding, since its you know histor history, has been engaged in wars and aggression and violence, 
they have been attacked, they have been annihilated, they have been attempted to be murdered and wiped out from the face of the earth. There is no peace. But as we will look at their history, it is because, it is because of their disobedience to Yahweh, or to their Jehovah, to their God. And so they have been, uh, now, every now and then, um, attacked by their enemies and by God's permissive will it is being allowed by the Lord ito po ay inaallow ng Panginoon until the time when they will recognize the Messiah, Jesus Christ as their King and as their Savior because the first time they rejected the first time they did not recognize the first time they did not acknowledge and so lahat po ng nagagalap at nangyayari sa sa bansang ito ngayon ay bunga po ng kanilang kasaysayan. It is a product of their history. It is a product of their journey with Yahweh. So saan ba sila nagmula? Saan ba nagmula ang mga uh, ang Israel? Saan ba nagmula? Sabi nila nangaagaw sila eh. 'Di ba? If you look at modern day history, the con- the concept is that the the point of view, the perception is that they are occupying forces. They are stealing the land of other people, okay? Because they were only established 1948. All right? Yun po yung pagkakakilala ng bagong tubo, ng bagong henerasyon na hindi nangakaunawa. At na brainwashed ng media, letting it appear that it is Israel that is stealing the land, you know, from other people. It is Israel that is occupying the land and oppressing other lahi. Yun po yung konsepto. So if you are not a Bible believer, if you are not reading the Bible, you believe these deceptions. You believe that it is Israel who is the aggressor. It is Israel who is killing children. It is Israel who is killing women and uh, uh, and killing civilians. All right. So in the in this recent violence and uh, escalation of uh, aggression, twelve yung yung casualty sa Israel at two hundred plus ang casualty sa Hamas. So napakalayo ng proportion, di ba? Kaya sabi niya, you are killing children, you are killing innocent people, right? Pero They are, you know, kung kung hindi po muna natin titingnan yung Bible kundi kung ano yung batas ng, ng ng mundo, sabi nila sila ang aggressors kasi mas maraming patay sa kabila. Okay? At ang nakaka yung sabi ng isang uh, isang Jews nang siya ini-interview, sabi niya, "How many more Jews need to be killed for you to accept our right to self-defense?" Because they are firing at us 4,000 rockets. And we are just blessed because, you know, a, a small number of those rockets were able to penetrate our land because of our, our Iron Dome, Dome's defense system. Eh, imagine you po sa 4,000 rockets, hindi na, na, na intercept ng Iron Dome rockets. Abay, baka hindi lamang po 12, hindi lamang 200, thousands of lives have been lost in Israel. But because God has given them the Iron Dome system, defense system, you know, yung casualty nila mas konte. Pero yung kanilang bakbak sa kabila, grave, di ba? Amen. Isang building bu, ibung uh, building kaya nilang pabagsakin. Why? Because their enemies are hiding behind behind civilians. Their rocket launchers are positioned in hospitals. Imagine. Their rocket launchers are positioned and hidden in schools and uh, buildings, civilian buildings. That is their tactic, amen? So that when out of self-defense, Israel retaliates and people die, civilians die, they, they glory in that. They, they like that because they use that as... A sympathy card, you know, victim card. Sila ang biktima because children. So nobody rejoices in the death of children, in the death of women and civilians. Amen. But in war, 
sa, sa naalala niyo sa Old Testament? Grabe, di ba? Mas grabe sa Old Testament. Ngayon nga, moral, very moral pa ang Israel Defense Forces eh. Because before they make bakbak, <laughs> before they, they hit their targets, they call and they warn, evacuate the building because we are going to strike. Amen? They give them one hour to evacuate. Tapos nakikipag- Kaya pag negotiate, no, 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 you give us more kasi kinakailangan namin evaluate yung mga equipment namin and everything. No, one hour is enough. Run. Who does that? Walang army sa buong mundo gumagawa nun. Winawarningan muna because it jeopardizes their strategy, their military tactics. They are jeopardizing their, their own strategy and military tactics. But they do that because they are moral people. They are one of the most moral and responsible people in the world. Amen. And so they do not like to have casualties in as uh, civilians and so they warn them. But, you know, ter- terrorist organizations glory in the death of their civilians because they do it, you know, suicide ano yun eh. Sabi nila uh, it is for the glory of of, of their so-called god. It is the, for the glory of their organization, it is for the glory of their religion. Amen. So, since time immemorial, the Jews, this this people have been embroiled, amen, in in uh, violence, in uh, chaos. They have never experienced peace. Right? Saan ba sila nagmula? Where did they come from? The Jews, they say they have just been established in 1948. And so they have no right to the holy land. You know, I have been to the Holy Land. It's a very, very small strip of land. You can go around it in a day, maybe. You know, from Jerusalem, we traveled up to the north. Nakita po namin yung West Bank. Nakita po namin yung, uh, yung uh, mga lugar na ito. And it is such a very, very small country. Amen? Napakaliit po. But uh, it is the, uh, the point, the focal point, the, the focus of of everything you know kapag ang Israel ang uh, lumagay sa entablado lahat nagugulo lahat nakikialam lahat may pakialam because they are such a very special people okay let's look at their history where did they come from they came from sino po yung kanilang uh, father father of faith yung kanilang founder who knows sino yung tinawag para maging ama ng bansang ito Abraham. Okay, okay. So uh, in 2000 BC, that is like four ta- more than 4,000 years ago, God called Abraham to get out of his land, okay, from the Chaldeans, from, from uh, Ur of Mesopotamia. God called him to be given a land of his own. Yun ang pangako ng Panginoon sa kanya. Right? Siya po ay tinawag ng, ng, ng ama ng, ng, ni Jehovah, ng Yahweh to get out of his country to go to a nation that God will, the land that God will give him. And so he obeyed. Okay? And from there, Abraham sired Isaac. Okay? Pangako ng Diyos sa kanya. Sabi ng Panginoon sa kanya, I will make you as numerous as the stars of the heaven and I will make you as numerous as the sands of the sea. Ganun po yung pangako niya sa kanya. And I, hindi ako magsasawang ikwento ito sapagkat ito ang ating origin, ito yung ating pinagmulan. So, Abraham was given a promise, okay? Was given a covenant that he will become the father of many nations. To become a father, you need to have a kid, a child, amen? How could he? Because when the promise was given, Sarah, the wife, and even Abraham were already old. Sila po ay matanda na. So biologically speaking, he could not, they could not have kids. They could not have children. But Abraham believed. Abraham believed. But Sarah could not. He could not wait. Hindi po niya mahintay, napakatagal po ng paghihintay niya sa kanilang anak, kaya po ginawan niya ng paraan. Ano pong ginawa niya? Kinuha po niya si Hagar, yung kanyang maid servant, at 
pinasiping kay Abraham na naging dahilan para ipanganak si Ishmael. Si Ishmael po by by uh, right of uh, pagiging panganay ay pang panganay si Ishmael. Pero hindi siya ang promised child. Kaya nung dumating ang panahong si Sarah ay nagkaroon ng anak, meron na pong Ishmael. Alright? Nung nanganak si Sarah, lumabas si Isaac. Ito yung promised child. Siya po yung uh, pinili ng Panginoon. Siya po yung promised child. Pero anong mangyayari kay Ishmael? Kahit na si Ishmael ay uh, anak ni Hagar, God has blessed him too. The Bible says, you will become a great nation, a strong nation. And indeed, Ishmael become a great nation because from him, the Arabs came about. Siya po ang forefathers ng Arabs. Alright? Na siyang nagsusurround ngayon sa Israel. Ang, si, Isra, si Isaac naman ay nagkaroon ng anak, si Jacob. And Jacob had 12 tribes. At yung 12 tribes na yon, from there, from the tribe of Judah, came the Lion of Judah, the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay? Yun po yung, uh, yung uh, lineage ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. So, they lived in the land for several years. Pagkatapos pong lumabas na ni uh, Abraham, ay sila po ay nabuhay sa labas ng, uh, kung saan siya pinalabas ng Panginoon, and they live in Canaan for several years. Sila ay naging isang bansa nung uh, si Moses ay inilabas sila sa Egypto. Okay? Doon po nabuo yung, yung bansang Israel, the Israelites. The Israelites. Sila po ay uh, inilabas ni Moses mula sa slavery sa Egypt. At the same time, sabi ko nga sa inyo, in the meantime, si Ishmael, Andiyan na. Alright? Naging wanderer siya sa desert. Alright? At siya po ay uh, hindi pinabayan ng Panginoon. Binigyan din siya ng, ng mana niya. At sabi ng Panginoon, You will become a great nation, but at the same time, by character, he is like a wild donkey. Amen? Siya po ay parang isang uh, wild na hayop. Okay? So, yung po yung, yung characterization na sinabi ng Bible, hindi po ako nagsasabi noon. Alright. Now, nung sila po ay nilabas ni, ng... Uh, ni Moses from Egypt, sila po ay tinawid sa dagat na pula. Nakita po na lang kapangyarihan ng Panginoon. At sila po ay nilid sa Kanaan. But when they arrived in Kanaan, it was not easy. They had to do military campaigns in order to conquer. Amen? At sila po ay nagtagumpay. Nung sila po ay uh, napag, nagtagumpay, pinagtagumpay ng Diyos, they occupied Kanaan. So, In the olden times, in the ancient times, Israel was called Canaan. Alright? Do doon sila sinetel ng Panginoon. Pero habang nandoon sila, nakita nila na yung mga ka 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 kapitbahay nilang bansa, may mga hari. They wanted a king themselves. Wala silang hari eh. So gusto nilang gayahin yung sistema ng kapitbahay nila. They, they forgot that they already had a king. And that is Jehovah, their king. Pero gusto nilang gayahin. At binigyan sila ng uh, pabor ng Panginoon. Binigyan sila ng hari. Ang unang hari nila ay si Saul. Alright? At pagkatapos si David. At pagkatapos, at sumunod pa yung maraming hari. At doon nabuo yung temple worship. Because during the time of Solomon, he built the most beautiful temple. Diba? Ta Pinag-aralan natin. So, the descendants of King David, exa for example, so Holomo Solomon, continued to rule for about 400 years. And they enjoyed. It was at this time where the golden years of Israel, they, they flourished. Amen? Sila po ay nagkaroon ng, uh, ng glorious kingdom because God was with them. But, their history also, alam na alam natin, they would, kagaya ni Solomon, ginaya niya yung, yung idol worship ng mga ano niya, ng mga kapitbahay niya. Nag-asawa siya ng marami. Daan-daan yung asawa niya. Bawat asawa niya, iba-iba ang uh, relihiyon, iba-iba ang iba-iba uh, <laughs> ang pagiging hidden. And so, Solomon, you know, as great as he was, this was his failure. Women. 
Man, like, asawa siya ng marami. And so, his spirituality was defiled. Siya po ay uh, nadungisan. Yung kanyang, yung kanyang pagiging uh, lingkod ng Panginoon, yung, yung kanyang pagiging hari, was defiled, corrupted by the hidden practices of his wives. Amen? So, ito po yung naging, ito po yung naging dahilan kung kaya dahan-dahang nag-collapse ang Israel from its glory, from its golden years, because of all the bickering, political, na-divide po ang kingdom ng Israel from Northern Kingdom at Southern Kingdom. Na-divide sila. Sila-sila mismo nag-aaway, hindi magkasundo, nagpapatayan. Yung hari nila, tinatanggal nila. They are usurping authority. Ganun po sila kagulo. And so, in, seven, in 600 B.C., the first conquerors of the Israelites came. And these are the Babylonians under Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar, one of the greatest empire in history, came into Israel. They destroyed the temple. They ravaged Jerusalem. They, they ravaged Canaan. They, they ravaged Jerusalem, burned it, and destroyed it. At yung mga golden uh, uh, elements and vessels dun sa temple, Dinala nila doon sa Babylon together with the other Israelites. So this was the first exile of the Israelites. Ito yung unang panahon na sila ay nawala sa kanilang bayan. Sila ay kinuha ng mga Babylonians ginawang slaves doon sa Babylon for hundreds of years. But then they went as as they went into exile. This was a fulfillment of the biblical prophecy in Deuteronomy 28. 63 to 64. It says, You will be uprooted from the land that you are entering to possess, and then the Lord will scatter you among all the nations from one end of the earth to the other. Amen? Ito po yung naging simula nang sila po ay nasubject sa kanilang mga oppressors, sa kanilang mga conquerors, the first of which are the Babylonians under Nebuchadnezzar. Sila po ay uh, kinawawa, sila po ay nawalan ng dignidad, sila po ay nawalan ng, ng, ng karapatan, sila po ay naging mga alipin. And you know, God was very explicit nung tinawag ng Diyos ang, ang bayang ito sa pamamagitan ni Moses ay nagsalita siya ng blessings of obedience and the curses of disobedience. Amen? So, there were blessings of their obedience. Sila ay plinourish ng Panginoon, pinagpala ng Panginoon, itinaas ng Panginoon. They were given uh, the, the land of Canaan to occupy. But then, because of their disobedience, came the curses. And one of the curses is their exile. Yung kanilang pag-scatter, yung kanilang pagpangalat. Sapagkat sila po ay hindi sumusunod sa Diyos. And the first of those exiles was done by Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon. Okay? So, pagkatapos po ng Babylonian conquest, sila naman po ay kinonquer ng mga Persians. And then came the Grecian Empire or the Greek Empire. And then came the powerful Roman Empire. And this was already in, uh, in 70 AD. Ito na po yung panahon ng ating Panginoon. Alright? So, then... The second Jewish exile happened under the Romans in 70 AD when a crazy emperor named Nero, you know, suspected a revolt by the Jewish people and so to quash that revolt, sila po ay persecuted. They were persecuted, they were hounded, they were murdered, they were killed. Amen. Sila po ay uh, pinagpapatay. Marami po sa sa kanila ay uh, You know, pinapakain sa mga leon, kasama ng mga kristyano. Okay, panahon na ito ng mga apostol. Pinapakain ng mga kristyano, they, those who have put their faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, as well as the Jews, they were hunted down and they were given to the lions for entertainment. Sila po ay pinapakain sa mga leon for entertainment ng mga Romans. Ganun po sila sinabject into oppression. They were haunted, they were burned down. And the second temple that was built by Zerubbabel when they went back to Babylon was once again raised to the ground, destroyed, burned, put to nothing. Nawala muli yung second temple. Alright? And so if you go to Jerusalem, 
the wailing wall, kung saan po kami pumunta noon, that is the remnant, the original remnant of the, of the temple. Kaya para sa kanila, it is a very holy site. They go there and wail because that is where they re- remember God in their lives. Jehovah who called them. Jehovah who was able to, to put them through in their, in their journey and history the faithfulness of, of, of Jehovah in their lives. Doon po nila, we know worship. So, pero they cannot do that alone because marami silang neighbors. The Jerusalem is re- divided into four quart- into, into quarters. May mus- Jewish quarter, merong Muslim quarter, at merong pong uh, Christian quarter. So lahat po sila nagpa-practice ng kanilang mga religion doon. Now, noong 70 AD, sabi ko nga, Nero ravaged Jerusalem to the ground. It was destroyed, it was burned, and they persecuted the Jews, which caused them to run and flee for their lives because they are being killed. As a result of that, they were scattered. They went to Europe, they went to Africa, they went to all the four corners of the earth. Sila po ay nagpangalan. And this was the second diaspora or the scattering of the Jews. And so for the last 2,000 years, they have been living like that. You know, para silang mga, mga pusang hinahant. O para silang mga daga na hinahant ng mga pusa nagtatago. No, a, a proof of that is when Hitler of Germany annihilated 6 million of them. Anim na milyong hudyo ang pinatay ni Hitler. That kind of hatred, that kind of enmity towards these people. Ano yun? Bakit mo papapatayin sila? Uh, bakit mo sila papatayin? Anong dahilan? Amen? Anong meron sila? Amen? Because they are God's chosen people. Sila po ang Pinili ng Panginoon and Satan is going to hunt them wherever they are. Amen? They were, they were hunted, they were hunted, they were persecuted, they were annihilated, they were killed by, 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 by Hitler. So, this was the first diaspora. So, nung nawala na yung mga Hudyo, okay, nagpangalat na sila, Rome has renamed Jerusalem. Rome has renamed Judea as Syria, Palestina. Kaya dito po nagmula yung term na Palestine. So it was only at this time. But this was the land of God's people since the time of Abraham in the Old Testament, 4,000 years ago. Right? Sino po ang nagbigay ng, nagbinyag ng pangalang Palestine? Yun pong mga Romano, the, the Romans, they gave the name Palestine. And so, no, dahil nagpangalat na po yung mga Hudyo sa iba't ibang dako ng lugar, iba na ang nag-occupy ng kanilang land because they were somewhere out there in all parts of the world. Pero patuloy po silang nabubuhay. They are preserving their language. They are preserving their identity. They know their history. They know their, their law, their, the Torah. They know the, 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 the laws of God that someday they will go back as prophesied by Zechariah. They will go back as prophesied by the prophets, Isaiah. Amen? Sila po ay magbabalikan, pero hindi nila alam kung pa kailan. At noong pong, uh, war, after World War I, ang British forces, sila po yung nag-campaign ng World War I, Sa kanila pong pakikipagdigma sa World War I, yung pong mga uh, British forces ay tinulungan ng isang Jewish chemist. Siya po ay isang uh, chemist na tumulong gumawa ng, ng ammunition para sa British forces. At dahil doon, napakalaking tulong kaya't nagtagumpay po ang Great Britain sa kanilang mga military campaigns sa World War I. In reward to this Jewish chemist, ang sabi sa kanya, what do you want us, the British government, do for you? Ano ang gusto mong gawin namin sa iyo? Sabi po ni Balfour. At ang sabi po niya, I want my people to come back to the Holy Land. At bu- pinirmahan po, amen, ng uh, commission ng foreign minister ni ng Balfour, kang tawag po doon ay Balfour Declaration. 
ang pagkakabuo ng isang state, ng isang land doon po. Ang tinawag na nila ngayong Palestine, but that is originally Canaan. At ngayon, binigyan po sila ng strip of land na yon. At in 1948, it was recognized as a state. Wala pa pong nabura na sa mapa, nagkalat na ang mga tao, na isang araw, out of the impossibility, out of obscurity, was reborn as a nation. Recognized by, by, the, you know, by the United Nations. Recognized. It was reestablished as a state. Amen? For the last 2,000 years, they have been scattered throughout the world, tried by the devil to be hounded, hated, annihilated. Murdered, wiped out from the face of the earth. But in 1948, the impossible happened. It was miraculous. The regathering happened. At nagbalikan po ang mga Hudyo. Tinawagan ang mga Hudyo. From Europe, from South Africa, from kung saan saan dako ng daigdig. Sila po ay nagbalikan sa Israel. Una, 35,000. And then, 50,000. And then, 500,000. Amen? Ngayon, konti pa lang sila. Wala silang sinabi sa population natin. 120 million tayo eh. Sila, konti lang sila. Napaka-konti nilang tao. Marami pa silang mga kasamahang ibang lahi doon sa Israel. But the gathering happened. That in itself is a miracle. Yan po isang himala. Amen? Because nobody, no one. Amen? And they came back with their own original Hebrew language. Akala ng marami na bura na nawala na. It was extinct. But they came back with the same culture, with the same language, with the same identity as a people. They never forget. After thousands and thousands of years of hiding, you know, of, 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 uh, of being hunted and hounded, they, against all odds, Israel was reestablished as a nation. Israel was reestablished as a land again. The, with, a, with their preserved Hebrew language, with their culture, with their identity, with their history, they have gone back to the land. And that is a fulfillment of the prophetic word. Kaya kung hindi ka nagbabasa ng Bible, eh, anong pakialam ko dun? Basta ang alam ko, they are occupying. They are, they are si, nangaagaw sila ng land. But if you go back to their history, it is their land. It is their land. And they are just going back and regathering because they have been haunted. They have been hated. Sila po ay uh, pinangalat. Which is also a part of their disobedience. God has to teach them a lesson. Part po yun ng, 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 ng uh, kanilang disobedience. But they had to go back because it was meant to be. Sa Deuteronomy 33 to 4, sabi doon, Then the Lord your God will restore your fortunes and He is compassion on you and will gather you again from all the nations where he scattered you even if you have been banished to the most distant land under the heavens from the Lord your God will gather you back and bring you back amen why does it have to happen because it has already been prophesied it has already been decreed kailangan maganap kailangan mangyari kay ayaw mo o hindi Whether you like it or not, whether you accept it or not, whether you believe it or not, this has to happen. The regathering has to ha- has to happen because it is part of God's providential will. Amen. Ito po ay kasama sa plano ng Dios. Isaiah 11:12, and He shall raise a banner to the nations, and He shall gather the lost Israel and the scattered ones of Judah. He shall gather them from the four corners of the earth. It has happened, it has culminated. Unti-unti silang nag-gather, but it has culminated in May 1948 when it was established as a nation, as a state recognized by the United Nations and all the states of the earth. Siyempre, hindi lahat tumatanggap. Marami pa rin. Kaya nga sila ginigera eh. Because they could not accept that they have come back. That they have regathered. Di ba patay na to? Six million to na annihilate na ni Hitler. Ba't may natira pa dito? Ba't nagre-regather pa? They are coming back to our land. This is our land. This is Palestine. But those who read the Bible know that that is their Canaan, that is their land. 
That is their Jerusalem, their eternal capital, their eternal city. But they will not understand because they have also a claim to it. Amen. Kasi nga si Ishmael eh, meron siyang claim dito. Kasi nga, panganay ako ah. Bakit ako wala? Hindi ba ako magmamana rin? Ako si Ishmael, panganay ako, nauna ako yung pinanganak kay Isaac. Kaya mula noon, itong kanilang half-brother ay ino-oppress sila, dinidikdik sila, ginigyera sila, inaaway sila, gusto silang burahin sa mundo. Kasi si Sarah, kasi si Sarah, minano-mano niya, dinaan niya sa, dinaan niya sa sarili niyang uh, pamamaraan, pinasipi niya si Hagar, nagbunga pa tuloy ng sakit ng ulo nila. And until now, it is something na parang pinupukpuk sa ulo nila. Hindi nila mahiwala yan. Hanggang ngayon, parang kakambal nila. Hinahabol sila ng gulo. Hinahabol sila ng, ng uh, pagpatay sa kanila. Alright? But let's go back to these verses about regathering. Because this has to happen. Jeremiah 29.14 And I will be found by you, says the Lord. And I will return your captivity and gather you from all the nations and from all the places where I have driven you, says the Lord. And I will return you to the place where I have exiled you. God has promised that He will return Israel. He will regather Israel. From their scattering, they will be regathered. Ezekiel 20.42 And you will know that I am the Lord when I bring you to the land of Israel, to the land that I have lifted my hand to give to your forefathers. God, by His providential, supernatural, miraculous hand, is making this happen right before our very eyes. Amen? Aren't you blessed because you have lived to see this promise fulfilled in your time? In our generation, this is being fulfilled. The regathering of Israel, the regathering of God's people. Nagbalikan sila in 1948 na itayo sila bilang isang bansa. Nawala sila sa mapa. Kinalimutan sila sapagkat gusto silang patayin, gusto silang burahin. But you can never, you know, you can never stop the plan of God for these people because You know, they are God's chosen people. And so today, their journey continues to unfold right before our very eyes. And so the next time you hear the news about Israel, wag, ka, wag mong pabayaan lang. Mag-interest ka. Ano na ang nangyayari sa kanya sapagkat sa, ang, kung ano ang nangyayari sa kanya, doon nakasalalay ang, ang, ang iyong, uh, ang iyong uh, yung pagdating ng Panginoong Heso Kristo. Kagaya ngayon, sabi ko nga, Lord, ano, ano ba ito? Uh, re- dress rehearsal? Dry run ba ito? Sa, sa Battle of Armageddon? Ito ba yung mag, 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 bibigay na ng uh, daan para sa the greatest battle to be fought on earth, which is the Battle of Armageddon? Dress rehearsal. Dress rehearsal po ito, dry run. Kapag napapanood niya, hindi pa ito yung ultimate kasi 11 days lang natapos sa ceasefire na agad eh. Di ba? Eh yung, yung, yung papunta sa Battle of Armageddon, sabi dun sa pinag-aralan natin kanina umaga, Ezekiel chapter 12, all the nations of the earth will gather against Israel. All the nations of the earth will gather against Israel. And it will take the Lord Jesus Christ Himself to come down on Mount Zion to protect Israel and to fight for His people. It will be Jesus Christ Himself ang magtatanggol sa Israel. Okay? Against Antichrist and His army. World army. Amen? So, but let it be known to all that Zechariah 12.9 says, On that day, on that day, when all the nations of the earth shall gather against Israel, so yung Hamas, Kadito pa lang yan. Amen? Hanggang, hindi, ma, hindi nga manalo-nalo sa kanya eh. Kasi darating ang panahong dapang-dapa talaga ang Israel. Wala na siya talagang laban. Magaling ang Israel ngayon pero isang araw, dapang-dapa siya sapagkat anong laban niya sa world army ni Antichrist. Wala. And it will be at this time when this nation will call upon God. 
Just like in the old days, when they will call upon God when they need help. Sapagkat wala na silang susulingan. Kagaya sa Israel, sa Egypt. They called upon God for deliverance. And then, kapag dumating ang panahong ito, they will call upon God for deliverance and God will come to the to destroy its enemies. Amen? Zechariah 12.9 On that day, I will set out to destroy all the nations that attack Jerusalem. So, basta sabi ba natin, alam na natin ang ending nito, di ba? We know how this ends, how this story will end because the Bible said so. So, sila hindi nila alam. Kala nila, meron silang chance. Meron silang chance na manalo. If they attack Israel, they will win. But no. Because the Bible is explicitly saying it is God Himself who will destroy all the nations that will try to attack and harm Israel, God's people. Why? Bakit po ganun na lamang po yung pagtatanggol ng Diyos sa Israel? Eh sabi ko nga, this is not a perfect nation. Amen? It has a history of, you know, worshiping God and then turning its back on God. It has a history of Obeying God and then disobeying God. And as a product and result, you know, every now and then that they disobey of God, there's a consequence. And one of them is being exiled, taken away and uprooted from their land. And for the last 2,000 years, they have been living that kind of life, haunted, you know, accused, persecuted, and tried to be annihilated. Pero whatever Whatever this world will try to do against God's people, God's chosen people will remain. Amen? So, why do we pray for Israel? Bakit kinakailangan natin silang ipagpray? Because number one, whether we like it or not, whether you believe it or not, they are God's chosen people. They are God's chosen people. Deuteronomy 6, 3-4. Hear Israel and be careful to obey so that it may go well with you and that you may increase greatly in a land flowing with milk and honey, just as the Lord, the God of your ancestors, promised you. Amen? So, the Lord has chosen them to be given a land that is flowing with milk and honey. God has chosen them. Verse 4, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one God. Isaiah 48, verse 12, Listen to me, Jacob, Israel, because the name Israel came from Jacob. Jacob was his original name, but when he encountered God, God changed his name into Israel because he contended with God. Nakipaglaban siya. He, siya po ay nakipag-wrestle sa Panginoon. And his name was changed into Israel. Listen to me, Jacob, Israel, whom I have called. I am he. I am the first and I am the last. Ano po yung pinag-uusapan natin dito? Old Testament, thousands and thousands of years ago. It is not just in 1917 or 1948 kung saan na-establish yung Palestine as a, as a state. Amen? Side by side, Israel. They are fighting for their state because they say it is their land. It is their Palestinian land. But I am talking about Isaiah 48 verse 12, which is in the Old Testament. This is around 4,000 years ago. Because the Lord said, Israel, I have called you by your name. God has chosen Israel. God has chosen this people. And he has called it by its name. I am he, I am the first, and I am the last. Psalm 105 verse 43. He brought out his people with rejoicing. His chosen ones with shouts of joy. So these are some of the verses proving that these are really God's chosen people. Whether ma ma maraming magpapanting ang tenga nito. Bakit? What is so special about them? You know? Pero wala kang magagawa. I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. Ang sabi ng Panginoon. Ako, ako, siya ang tumatawag. Wala tayong karapatang questionin yun. Amen? Kahit kuminsan nga eh, Sa buhay po natin, hindi naman din tayo karapat-dapat, pero hindi tayo sinusukuan ng Panginoon. Eh. Amen? So, Israel was chosen by God. Psalm 104 verse 43. 105 verse 43. Okay, ito pa. Isaiah 41, 8 to 9. But you, Israel, my servant, Jacob, whom I have chosen, whom I have chosen, your descendants 
of Abraham, my friend. I took you from the ends of the earth. From its farthest corners I have called you. And I said, you are my servant. And I have chosen you and have not rejected you. You know, if you will look at the nation Israel, you can see the parallelism in our lives as, as, as children of God. Amen. God has chosen us as well. Pinili tayo ng Diyos out of our unworthiness. Hindi po tayo karapat dapat sapagkat punong puno po tayo ng pagsuway. We are disobedient. We are re rebels against God. We do not want to obey the will of God in our lives. And we are not worthy. But God, by His infinite grace, has chosen us, just like these people. Amen? And His choosing us is not dependent on our worthiness. It is dependent on His grace because He said, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. At ang sabi niya, I have not rejected you. Kahit na nireject nila si Jesus Christ, hindi po sila nireject ng Diyos. God has not given up on this nation. God has not given up on this people. He does not reject them. Amen. So, but I'm going to say, bakit ba? Bakit? What's so special about these people? They reject ng nila yung Yahweh nila. They reject nila yung Messiah nila. What's so special about them? I cannot also answer that because the Lord is just saying, "I have chosen you, and I have not rejected you." Kaya nga hanggang ngayon ni. Amen. God is protecting these people. God is protecting this nation. Deuteronomy 7, 8, 9. But it was because the Lord loved you and kept the oath He swore to your ancestors that He brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you from the land of slavery, from the power of Pharaoh, the king of Egypt. Know therefore that the Lord your God is God. He is a faithful God, keeping His covenant of love to a thousand generations, to those who love Him and keep His commands. Deuteronomy 7, 8, 9. Why? Because God is a covenant-keeping God. He made a promise to Abraham and He cannot turn His back on that promise. Hello? What does that tell you? That God is a trustworthy God. If He says something, He will do it. He will not turn it, His back. On that promise. Kaya kung meron kang pinangahawa kang pangako ng Dios, if you are clinging to a promise that God has given you long time ago, and sometimes you 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 already begin to doubt it, you already begin just like Sarah, you already begin. Is it going to happen? Is it going to happen? So you try to manipulate and do it your own, and you know get Hagar and give it to Abraham. Sometimes we are like that. Because we cannot trust on the promise of God. But God is a trustworthy God. He is a covenant-keeping God. To a thousand generations, He will never forget His promise. In the same way that in our lives, we have to cling on to that promise. Do not give up. Tayo po ay patuloy na magtiwala because He is a faithful God. He keeps His covenant of love through a thousand generations. Amen? So kung meron po tayong pinapanalangin, hinihingi sa Diyos, meron po tayong uh, bagay. If, you, if there's something that we, are, we have been promised with by God, let us not lose our hope and faith because God definitely, absolutely will fulfill it. Just like He did with the nation Israel. Amen? They have been through a lot in their journey and history. At the end of the day, God is saying, I have chosen you and I have not rejected you. I remember my promise to your forefather, Abraham. He is a friend of mine. Abraham is a friend of God. All right? So I will not turn my back on that promise. No matter what happened with you, I will be faithful to that promise. I will keep my commands, saith God. Amen? So the Lord is saying the same thing. Ano man ang nangyari sa buhay mo? To a thousand generations, God is a covenant-keeping God. God will restore you. God can restore you. God can fulfill His promise in your life. If He said, I will heal you, God will heal you. If He said, I will prosper you, God will prosper you. Pagagalingin kita, gagawan kita ng Himala. Gagawa ko ng dakilang bagay sa buhay mo. 
Kapag papalain ko ang pamilya mo, pagpapalain ko ang negosyo mo, pagpapalain kita, kapag pinangakuan ka ng Diyos niyan, panghawakan mo ang pangakong yan. Amen? This ministry has been born and chosen by God. Hallelujah. Not in the same magnitude maybe, or gravity ng pagkakatawag niya sa Israel, but this ministry has been chosen from the very heart of God. And so we believe that Because he has chosen this ministry, siyang bahalang magtanggol nito. Kaya maraming dumaang bagyo, pagsubok, laban ng buhay sa ministeryong ito. I never worried because I always say, Lord, ikaw ang tumawag dyan, bahala ka dyan. Ikaw ang tumawag ng ministeryong yan, isustain mo yan. Amen? So kapag may pangangailangan, hindi ako nag-worry. Kasi alam ko ang Lord ang bahala eh. Sapagkat siya ang tumawag. Amen? Because my God is a covenant-keeping God. The God of this ministry is a covenant-keeping God. Deuteronomy 14.2 For you are a holy people unto God, and the Lord has chosen you to be a peculiar people unto Himself above all the nations that are upon the earth. So, magalit na ang magalit. People will be mad because of this peculiar people called the Jews. But God has declared they are above all the nations upon the earth. Hello, special talaga to, peculiar talaga to. Sabi ng Diyos sa Zechariah 12.9, sino man ang umatake dito, wawasakin ko. Ipagtatanggol ko, sino man ang kumanti dito. Alam niyo po ba, sabi ng, ng uh, Bible, kaya sila chosen people because they are also called the apple of God's eye. Zechariah chapter 2 verse 8, For thus saith the Lord of hosts, He sent me after glory to the nations which plunder you. For he who touches you touches the apple of his eyes. Grabe naman yung pagmamahal na yan. Kung sino raw ang kumante, kung sino raw ang gumalaw sa chosen people of God, ang ginagalaw nila at pinaglalaroan nila yung mata ng Diyos. You don't poke on the eye of God. <laughs> Hindi mo pwedeng kantiin ang, 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 ang mata ng Diyos. Pag ikaw ba kinanti yung mata mo, di ba you react? Kasi mahalaga yung matang yan eh. Ayaw mo yan na masira, ayaw mo yan na, na mapakialaman. You protect that eye. It is the same way with God. God is protecting His people because they are the apple of His eye. Whether you like it or not, maganda man sa pandinig mo o magpanting man ang tenga mo pag narinig mo, they are chosen people, but they are. That is the truth. That is the reality. That is a fact. Amen? So, we pray for Israel because God has chosen them. And they are a peculiar people. And it says they are the apple of his eyes. There's nobody else in the world that is the apple of God's eyes. The Israelites, the Jews. They must be special. When God calls them the apple of his eyes. And so when you are commanded to pray for them, you pray. Because they are not ordinary people. Hello? I'm not glorifying them, but that's what the Bible says. They are God's, the, uh, they are the apple of His eye. And whoever touches them, touches the eye of, the, of God. Amen? Nakuha po ba natin? Ganun po sila kahalaga. Deuteronomy 32.10, inulit-ulit. In a desert land, He found Him. In a barren and howling waste, He shielded Him and cared for Him. He guarded Him as the apple of His eye. Okay? Pag meron kang paboritong anak, yun ang tawag doon, apple of my eye. You're the apple of my eye. Ibig sabihin, paborito mo, mahal mo. Alright? Ganun ang Diyos. Hindi ko alam kung ano nakita niya sa mga Israelita, but they are his, the apple of his eye. Hello? Walang makakakontest nun. Walang makakadebate nun. Walang makakapagprotesta nun. God has declared it. They are the apple of his eye. And so, they are God's special people. Number two, God called them the husband. God is called the husband of Israel. All right? Asawa ng bayang ito, ang Panginoon. Jeremiah 3.14 Return, faithless people, declares the Lord, for I am your husband. 
I will choose you, one from a town and two from a clan, and bring you to Zion. Hello? I am your husband. You know, if you are claiming yourself to be somebody's husband, then ano yung role mo? You are the protector. Ikaw, ikaw ang tagapagtanggol, di ba? Yun ang role ng mga husband, di ba? Ikaw ang tagapagtanggol ng pamilya mo, ng asawa mo. You protect your wife. And that is what God called himself to be towards Israel. I am your husband. Amen. So you return to me because these people are sometimes faithless. So sila po ay nagpapariwara. Ini Hello, naliligaw. Parang yung mga yung mga yung mga babaeng uh, Tuma sa kabilang bahay. Iniiwan yung kanilang asawa. 'Di ba? Ganun minsan ang Israel sa kanila sa kanil, kay kay Yahweh, kay Jehovah. They are faithless people declares the Lord, I am your husband. Return, ang sabi ng Panginoon, return because every now and then they flee, they go away. They are they go wayward. And so the Lord is saying, return for I am your husband. Hello. So, Israel is God's chosen people. Next, God is concerned over Israel. Second Chronicles chapter six verse six. Yet I have chosen Jerusalem, that my name may be there, and I have chosen David to be over my people Israel. God is always concerned over Israel. He cares. Amen. He cares for these people. So every now and then, at one point in their history, God moves, and the regathering and the reestablishment of their state as Israel in 1948 is very significant. And I truly believe that this is the blooming and the blossoming of the fig tree. Nasina sabi po dun sa Book of Matthew. Not, that when the fig tree blossoms, that generation will not pass away, and you will see the coming of the Lord. So it is unfolding before our very eyes. 1948, na buo ang bayang ito, at hindi na raw lilipas ang generasyong ito. Ay makikita na natin ang pagdating ng ating Panginoong Yesu Kristo. Next, God. Will never abandon Israel. Malakay three six. I the Lord do not change, and so you, the descendants of Jacob, are not destroyed. See, ganon po katapat ang panginoon sa bayang ito kahit hindi tapat. Ganon din po sa buhay natin. Let us make that parallelism sa buhay natin. Minsan hindi tayo tapat sa Dios. Madalas hindi tayo tapat sa Dios. Pero kung paanong hindi sumuko ang Diyos sa bayang Israel, ganun din po na hindi niya tayo susukuan. Amen? Hindi po tayo sinusukuan ng Panginoon. Romans 11.1 I say then, God has not rejected His people. Has He? God has not rejected His people. Sometimes nagsiself-pity ka. Sometimes kinukundin na mo yung sarili mo. Hindi mo matanggap ang sarili mo. Pero kahit hindi mo matanggap ang sarili mo, tanggap ka ng Diyos. Kagaya ng kanyang katapatan, yung kanyang pagiging covenant-keeping God sa Israel, sa bayang ito. Ganon din po sa ating mga buhay. Tayo po ay hindi itinatakwil ng Panginoon. Tayo po ay hindi kayang itakwil ng Panginoon. Kaya kung atin lamang pong mapagkakatiwalaan, if we can only trust the Lord, That he is a covenant-keeping God, and he will fulfill his will in our lives. He will fulfill his purpose in our lives, just like the nation Israel. Then praise God. We will reach our destiny. We will fulfill our mandate. We will finish our calling and the will of God in our lives. Amen. God has not rejected you. God has not rejected you. I'm saying again because there are some people who are watching right now that you are being condemned and lied upon by the devil. God is. Uh, the, the devil is putting doubt and unbelief in your faith and trust in God because you have been through a lot of troubles and problems and trials. At sobrang bigat ng pinagdadaanan mo, sometimes you want to give up. 
But God is saying, I have not rejected you. I'm a covenant-keeping God. I do not change. Amen? Hindi ako nagbabago. So, God is pleased when we pray for these chosen people, even though they are not perfect, because God has not given up on them. Sa Revelation, uh, Romans 11, sabi doon, did God reject His people? By no means. Okay, sa ibang version ako nagbabasa. I am an Israelite, sabi ni Pablo. I am an Israelite myself. I am a descendant of Abraham. From the tribe of Benjamin, God did not reject His people for whom He foreknew. Don't you know what the scripture says in this passage about Elijah? How he appealed to God against Israel? Amen. So, God has not and has never rejected His people. His love is everlasting for these people. His covenant stays. He did not turn His back on these people, even if these people turned His back on Him. But someday, He will come down and fulfill His purpose for this nation. Amen? So, that is why we have to pray for them. We have to give our time to pray for these people as God has commanded. Amen? So, bakit pa po natin ipapag-pray ang Israel? So that they may be saved. Even Paul himself said in Romans 10.1, sabi po doon, Brothers and sisters, my heart's desire and prayer to God is for the Israelites that they may be saved. So they need to be saved. Praise God because we have been privileged to be saved. We have been given that privilege to be saved by our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. We have been saved. Hallelujah. But many of these people are not yet saved. Until now, they are waiting for their Messiah. So that one day they will be deceived because the Messiah that will come is the fake Christ, the Antichrist. But they will worship Him. They will accept Him. They will embrace Him and they will believe Him. They will be deceived. And so we have to pray for them that they may be saved. Kagaya po ng, ng, ng uh, sabi ni, Ro, na, ni Paul sa Romans chapter 10, verse 1. Amen? So, we are be, have been blessed because we have been grafted, you know, in, in the natural olive tree so that we can be called fellow citizens with God's people and also the members of His household. Sa Ephesians 2.19, sabi doon, Consequently, you are no longer foreigners and strangers, but you are fellow citizens with God's people and also members of His household. Naging fellow citizens tayo doon sa heaven because of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? Tayo po ay napaka-blessed uh, sapagkat tayo po ay nagkaroon ng salvation because of what the Lord Jesus Christ has done. But these Israelites, they need to be saved. Amen? Sa Romans 10.1. Romans 11.24 is very clear about this. It says, After all, if you were cut out of an olive tree that is wild by nature and contrary to nature were grafted into a cultivated olive tree, how much more readily will this, the natural branches, be grafted into their own olive tree? Tayo raw po ay grafted lamang. Okay? Pero pinahalagahan tayo ng Lord. Binigyan tayo ng pagkakataong ma-engraft doon sa olive tree. Eh, how much more itong original na olive tree? Kailangan itong ma-save. Kailangan itong maligtas. And who will pray for their salvation? We will pray for their salvation. Pray for Israel. Amen? Tayo po ang mananalangin para sa kanila. Sabi po ng... Uh, ituloy po natin, sabi doon, I do not want you to be ignorant of this mystery, brothers, so that you may not be conceited. Israel has experienced a hardening, hardening of the heart. In part, because of their full, because until the full number of Gentiles has come in or has been saved. And so all of Israel will be saved. The true Israelites, whether ethnic or spiritual. Romans 2.29 For as it is written, the Deliverer will come from Zion. He will turn godlessness away from Jacob or Israel. And this is my covenant with them when I take away their sins. Romans 11, 25 to 27. So there is that hardening season. Meron yung, yung hardening of the heart. And because of that hardening of the heart, 
we have been given the grace, we are now the Gentile, yung dispensation ng Gentile, nasa atin po ngayon yung grace. Pero sabi ko nga, darating ang panahon, mawawala na po itong dispensation na ito. And so we have to redeem the time. We have to do our part and share the gospel, you know, and redeem the time because the time is is so imminent. Amen? We are living on the edge of eternity. It is unfolding. All these prophetic declarations are unfolding before our very eyes in relation to Israel. And this hardening part, you know, will soon come to end. And the Gentile dispensation, the grace of the Gentile dispensation will soon come to end when everyone will be saved. And then, the grace of God amen, will be shown upon His people. The deliverer will come from Zion. Amen. So, Israel has become a sign. Sabi ko nga, a barometer. Their reestablishment as a nation in 1948 is a proof of the truth of God's word and faithfulness because the biblical prophecies of regathering has been happening. Amen? So, kanina binasa ko pong lahat iyon. Amen? So, we have to pray for Israel because our life depended on it. Depends on it. Amen? Lahat po ng ginagawa ng Diyos in these end times is so related to Israel and we cannot detach ourselves from it. And so, sa Psalm 122, verse 6, nais ko pong balikan, sabi doon, pray for Jerusalem because those who pray for Jerusalem will prosper. Sabi doon, may they who love you prosper. Amen? Jerusalem. Salem means peace. Okay? Salem means peace. It means wholeness. It means completeness. So, when you pray for the peace of Jerusalem, you are praying for their wholeness for their completeness, maging kompleto na po sila sapagkat sila po ay uh, hindi ganap. Amen? Sapagkat sila po ay uh, uh, nagpangalat. They have been uh, scattered throughout the earth. And sa Genesis chapter 12, verse 3, ang sabi po doon, I will bless those who bless you, and I will curse those who curse you. And all the families of the earth will be blessed through you. So, all of us will be blessed through Israel. Genesis 12.3 Ito po yung covenant ng Panginoon. Those who bless Israel will be blessed. And those who curse Israel will be cursed. Ganun po ka black and white. You call it spade a spade. Those who bless Israel will be blessed. And those who attack and fight and curse Israel will be cursed as well. So, which side are you on? Do you want to be blessed? Or do you want to be cursed? Now, is it very hard to pray for Israel? Kung if you don't love Israel, let God work in your heart and say, God, I didn't care about Israel. Anong pakialam ko sa bansang yan? Wala akong alam. Pero ngayong nalaman mo na ikaw pala ay ninanais ng Panginoon na ipanalangin ang bansang ito sapagkat pinili niya ito. Sila ang apple of His eyes. Will you do it? Will you commit yourself to it? There is a blessing for those who pray for Israel. There is a blessing for those who will love God's people, God's chosen people. There is a blessing for those who will love the Israelites. The root word for the Hebrew term, Shalah means to prosper. Amen? Hallelujah. Do you want to prosper? Yes, Shalah means to prosper. It could be translated as to put at ease or to be quiet for once and for all. Because, you know, hindi po sila nakakatulog ng mahimbing sa gabi. They have never been at peace. For the last thousands and thousands of years, they have never been at peace. They never know somebody will attack them. Somebody will kill them. Somebody will fire rockets at them. They have never been at peace. And so that's why peace for them is very important. And it's so sad because, you know, darating ang time na magkakaroon sila ng false peace sapagkat si Antichrist ang magbibigay nun sa kanila. But we, as God's people, could be instruments for true peace to come upon his people to come upon Israel. I will bless those who bless Israel 
and I will curse those who curse him. And all the families of the earth will be blessed through you. Amen? Sabi ko nga, kung, kung, kung ikaw ang magte-take side, kaninong side ka mag... kaninong side ka kakampi? Oh, dun sa panalo, di ba? Pipili mo naturally, pipili mo dun sa mananalo ka. Amen? Pipili ka na rin lang ng kakampihan, ba't dun sa matatalo? Doon ka sa mananalo. At ang ending ng kwentong ito, ang ending ng bayang ito, ang ending ng mga taong ito, ay tapos na, alam na. Amen? Isang araw, ang Panginoon mismo ang bababa upang ipagtanggol sila at bigyan sila ng tagumpay. At nawa, pag dumating yun, kabahagi ka. Because you prayed for Israel. And the consequence of that praying and commitment for these people, God's chosen people, is prosperity. You will prosper when you love God's people. God will bless you. Amen? So if you want to be blessed, take God's side. Take the winning side. Amen? And God has promised that all the nations of the earth, Amen, will be destroyed. Those who try to destroy Israel will be destroyed themselves. Amen? And so, it is our commitment, our duty, as God's people who have been given the grace and access to salvation because of our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ to pray for our brethren. Sila po, sa kanila nagma, nagmula ang ating kaligtasan. Si, ang Panginoong Jesus, sa kanila nagmula ang Panginoong Jesus. And for that fact alone, we should pray for them. We should bless them. We should love them and care for them. Amen po ba? Amen. Alam niyo po, nung pumunta po kami sa Israel, pagtungtong ko lang talaga doon, iba eh, iba yung pakiramdam mo. Tumatumitindig ang balahibo mo. You know that something is special in that place. And I was standing in Mount Zion. Sabi ko, Lord, it is the same place. You will split this. You know, Jerusalem will be split into two and the Lord will come down and fight for Jerusalem. And, and just thinking about that overwhelmed me. Iba po talaga ang Holy Land. When you step and, you know, set your foot onto it, you feel, you know, the glory, the anointing, the presence of God. And I am just one of those privileged and blessed to be able to step my na, na, ako po'y nakatapak sa Holy Land sapagkat yun po ang bayang pinili ng Diyos. Kaya ayaw nilang marinig o hindi. Kaya tanggapin man nila o hindi. Whether you believe it or not, Israel is here to stay. All roads lead to Jerusalem. All roads lead to Israel. And they are here to stay. Whether we like it or not, whether you like it or not. And it is our duty responsibility and accountability to pray for them. And if we pray for them, the Lord has promised He will bless us. If we love them, we will prosper. Those who bless Israel will be blessed. And those who curse Israel will be cursed. And we will be blessed through them. Amen? And one of those blessings is salvation. Amen? And you want more bonus? You want more? Amen. Tayo pong lahat ay yumuko. Hallelujah. Shalom. Peace be upon Israel. Peace be upon His people. Pray for the peace of Israel. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May those who love you prosper. 
May those who pray for you prosper. May those who bless you be blessed in return. And may those who curse you be cursed in return. Of Jerusalem, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Shalom, shalom, Jerusalem. Shalom. Shalom, 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 Jerusalem. Come on, declare it. Shalom, yes, Lord. Shalom. We pray for your people Shalom. we pray for Jerusalem Shalom. we pray for Israel Shalom 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 Yerushalayim declare it Shalom. let it be heard let it be declared in the heavenlies Shalom, shalom upon Israel. Shalom, 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 Jerusalem. Do you have a long standing prayer in your heart? Do you sometimes thinking? Do you sometimes think of giving up? Do you feel weak? Do you feel lost? Do you feel confused? Did you, give, did you receive a promise from God? And time has passed. It has not yet come to fruition. Today the Lord is saying unto you, My child, I am a covenant-keeping God. I change not. I will never fail. I will never turn my back on my promise, saith the Lord. For I am a faithful God and I am true to my promises. I am not a man that I should lie, saith God. Is there anything too hard for me? Nothing is impossible with me, saith the Lord. And so if God has been faithful to Israel, He has never rejected Israel despite their imperfections. Who are you in the presence of God? God can bless you. God will not reject you. And God will never reject you. And so today, come to Him. Come to the Lord. Surrender your life to Him. Offer your life to Him. And God has promised to bless you. Yes. Are you confused? Are you worried? Are you in suffering from anxiety? Are you suffering from suicidal thoughts? Do you have mental struggles? The Lord is saying, Peace be upon you. Shalom, saith God. Receive my peace, saith the Lord. Receive my deliverance. But before you do that, come on. Surrender your life to God and say, Lord, forgive me. I have doubted your promises. Forgive me. I have rejected you. I have turned my back upon you. Forgive me. I have not made my promise and my commitment to you. Forgive me, O oh God. Forgive me for all my sins. Cleanse me. And I surrender my life to you. Come into my life. Reign in me. Be my Lord.
my God and my Savior. Today, I commit myself to you. I surrender my life to you. Totally, completely, absolutely. Hallelujah. If you have prayed that prayer today, God is willing and able to meet your need. Do you need peace from God? Do you need healing from God? Do you need prosperity from God? Do you need blessing from God? Be ready to receive it because God is willing and able to give it. The Lord says, I am the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Meron ka bang malaking bayarin? Do you have debts to pay? Or do you have sickness or disease that is incurable? Do you have relationships that have been broken and wants to be restored? Do you have mental struggles? Whatever it is that you need from God, say it. Tell it. Because the Lord is saying, I am ready to meet you. I am ready to heal you. I am ready to bless you, saith the Lord. Hallelujah. Shalom, shalom, Yerushalayim. Shalom, 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 shalom. Shalom, shalom, Yerushalayim. Yes, Lord, first of all, we commit our lives to you. Second, we commit our lives to bless your people. We will pray for Israel. We will love them. We will care for them. We will pray for them, O oh God. From this day forth, until you come again, Lord, let it be that you find us praying for Israel, praying for Jerusalem, that your purpose may happen upon your chosen people, upon your chosen land. Yes, O oh God, we are one in spirit. We pray for Jerusalem. Let your purpose be done. Let your will be done. Let the nation see and know that you are the God of these people. You are the God who has called these people and your faithfulness will never fail upon them because you are a covenant-keeping God. Yes, O oh Lord, come on, utter prayers upon this nation, utter prayers for Israel, utter prayers for Jerusalem, just as we are commanded to. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. For those who love thee will prosper. And Lord, we are ready to receive our own miracles, O oh God. Ikaw na nakikinig ngayon, you who are watching, be ready to receive your own miracles. Be ready to receive your own prosperity. Be ready to receive your own blessing. For those who bless Israel, for those who bless the nation of God will be blessed in return. What do you want to be blessed with? Come on, say it to God. Yes. Yes, be ready to receive healing and miracles, breakthrough, prosperity, blessing in the name of Jesus. Yes, in the name of Jesus, just receive your healing and miracle from God from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. The Lord is touching you. The Lord is healing you. The Lord is doing a great miracle in your life. For nothing is impossible with Him. Believe and receive your miracles from God. Hallelujah. Yes, oh God. Yes, let it be done in the name of Jesus Christ the Son of the Living God. 
Meron ngayong nakikinig. There's somebody who is watching right now. And you are asking for your complete total healing from your heart disease, from your cancer of the liver, from your cancer of the bone, from your cancer of the breast. Receive your healing, saith the Lord. I am the God of all flesh, saith God. Is there anything too hard for me? There is nothing too hard for God. Receive your healing in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Yes, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Even right now, God is just restoring your broken relationship with your loved ones. You have been crying out to God day and night. It has been a burden to you because of your broken and strained relationship. God, by His miraculous hand, is restoring that relationship right now. Receive in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Even right now, you are praying for financial breakthrough. The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. Lahat ng bagay ay pag-aari ng Diyos. Ang kayamanan ng mundo ay pag-aari ng Diyos. Ito ang sabi sa iyo ng Panginoon. Maging tapat ka at magpakatapat ka ang sabi ng Diyos. At ibubuhos ko ang masaganang pagpapala na para sa iyo ang sabi ng Panginoon. God will bless you. Be faithful to your God, saith the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, O Lord. And whatever I have not mentioned that you need from God right now, the Lord from the heavens is looking at you and willing and able to meet you. And so tell Him your need. Tell Him your prayers. Tell Him your supplication. Because the grace of God is enough to meet your needs. Yes, hallelujah. Come on. Just tell God, just tell the Lord whatever you need from Him. Those who bless God's people will be blessed. And it is time for you to be blessed. Receive. Shalom. 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 Shalom, shalom, Yerushalayim. Before I end, there is somebody out there who is on the verge of giving up. Gusto mo nang sumuko. Gusto mo nang tumalikod. Gusto mo nang umatras. Sobra ka nang nasasaktan at nangihina. Parang walang pinupuntahan ang iyong pagsasakripisyo. Pero ito ang sabi sa iyo ng Panginoon. Hindi mawawalan ng kabuluhan ang lahat ng sakripisyo mong ginawa sa akin ang sabi ng Diyos. For I am a God who rewards those who are faithful to me. Oh, thank you Lord. Yes, oh God. Confirm it in his heart, in her heart, that you will bless him. That all that he has sacrificed for your sake, for your name's sake, will not come to nothing. Hindi po mawawala ng kabuluhan na ma. Bagko sa takdang panahon, ang iyong gantimpala ay daladala mo upang ibigay at ipagkaloob. Malapit na, Panginoon, ang iyong pagdating. Huwag mo kaming hayaang mawala. Huwag mo kaming hayaang manghina. Tulungan mo kaming kumapit. Tulungan mo kaming maging tapat. Tulungan mo kaming patuloy na magtiwala na hindi magkakabula ang lahat ng pangako mo sa aming mga buhay. You will be faithful because you are a covenant keeping God. We will, reward, we will be rewarded. The blessings will come. Darating Panginoon ang gantimpala. Daladala mo Panginoon sa iyong pagdating, sa iyong pagbabalik. Kaya naman naman, hawakan mo kami ng mahigpit. Tulungan mo kami maging tapat. 
sapagkat tunay nga na malapit ka nang dumating. Help us, O Lord, be faithful to your calling, to your mandate, to your purpose. Seal us with the blood of the Lamb. Give us the victory that you have given your Son, Jesus, on the cross. And help us walk into that victory, O Lord, until the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. And let us live in peace and joy and love and victory all the days of our lives while we await for the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Fill us, O Lord, with an overflowing joy. Fill us with an overflowing strength. Fill us with that overflowing shalom, the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Pasalamatan mo ang Diyos sa iyong kagalingan, sa iyong himala, sa iyong pagpapala, sa iyong kalakasan, sa iyong kapayapaan, sa iyong katagumpayan. Sa inyo po ang lahat ng kapurihan, kalwalati at karangalan, To your name be the glory alone. In the name of Jesus Christ, our conquering King and our Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. At isa pong pinagpalang hapon muli sa ating lahat. Amen po ba? na po tayo. Amen. Amen. At napahinggan po natin na in this time and in this age, amen, we have to be very vigilant kasi lahat po ay talagang konektado sa pagdating ng Panginoon. Amen po ba? And the Lord is saying that this is the time that we really have to be vigilant. We have to continuously support as well His ministry. Amen po ba? Kasi po kung hindi pa ngayon, kailan pa? Amen. Sabi nga ng lingkod ng Diyos, The Lord is coming. There are signs everywhere. Amen. And this is the time that we have to be very sensitive. Amen po ba? Sa pagdating ng Panginoon. At alam nyo po, sa pagdating ng Panginoon, dapat po tayo magpahuli. Amen. The ministry is continuously being used by the Lord, Kingdom of Jesus Fellowship International, the man and woman of God. They are continuously being used by the Lord to propagate His Word. Amen po ba? Hindi po natin malalaman ang mga ito. Amen po ba? Kung hindi dahil po sa tunay na iglesia, tunay na ministeryo, ang KOJF at ang kanyang mga lingkod. Amen po ba? Madalang po ang mga ganitong turo. Amen? Sa inyo pa po ba makukuha ang turo about Israel? Amen po ba? At ang importance niya in this time and age and how we are going to be blessed. Amen? And with that, I would like to ask each and everyone to continuously support the ministry. Amen? Sabi po sa Malachi 3:10, bring the whole tide into the storehouse that there may be flood, there may be food rather in my house. Test me in this says the Lord Almighty and see if I will not throw open, amen po ba, the floodgates of heaven and that your storehouse will be filled. Amen. And there will be no more room enough for it. Amen. So for those who are very much in this ministry for the longest time, we are aware about Malachi 3:10. Amen po ba? So, ang Malachi 3.10, ginagamit po yan para sa ating tithes and offering. For those who are listening right now in our live, we give our tithes, our offering to the storehouse of the Lord. We, what is the storehouse of the Lord? Amen. Our ministry, Kingdom of Jesus Fellowship International. Amen. We are continuously using this tithes offering to the storehouse of the Lord so that we could continuously expand the storehouse of the Lord. Amen po ba? Expand the church so that there may be food. Amen po ba? Pag sinabi po na there may be food in my house, ibig sabihin po para masuportahan ng aking bahay panambahan. Amen po ba? Naniniwala po ba tayo na si Lord ay kasama natin? Amen. Amen. At pag kasama natin ng Panginoon, hindi po tayo bibigohin. Amen po ba? So sabi ng Lord, huwag kang mag-alilangan na patuloy na suportahan ang aking tunay na church, ang KLJF, ang mga lingkod ko. Amen. At ang pangako ng Panginoon, you will be blessed that there may be no more enough room in your house. Amen po ba? Sa Tagalog po, pagpapalain kita, higit pa sa iyong inaasahan na hindi na magkakasya. Amen po ba? Sa iyong bahay, sa iyong bulsa, sa iyong bank account. Amen po ba? Ikaw ay magugulat. 
So brothers and sisters, let us give our tithes, our offering, our love gifts, our pledges to the ma- to the church. Amen po ba? And to the man and woman of God. Amen po ba? Para magamit natin para lamang sa ikatataas at ikapapalaganap ng salita ng Diyos. So right now, the man of God is back in his mission. Our evangelism is on the track again. And by God's grace, we're going to continuously expand our evangelism. Amen po ba? So the man of God needs your support, financial support. Hindi po biro ang pagmimisyon. Amen? Sila Kuya Eric po, nagpapakyan ng mga uh, food, water, at saka ng mga face, uh, face shield, face mask. Kasi po binibigay po yan sa mga frontliners pag sila po ay pumupunta sa iba't ibang misyon. At, at ito po ay tayo po ay may supply dahil may mga kapatid tayong nagbibigay at nagdo-donate. Amen po ba? So we are not just we are not just fueling, we are not just storing in the storehouse of the Lord, but at the same time, we are trying to be to show kindness. Amen po ba? Pinapakita po natin na ang Kingdom of Jesus Fellowship International ay hindi lamang magdadala ng salita ng Diyos sa iba't ibang parte ng Pilipinas ng nang buong mundo, kundi tayo din po ay nagpo-provide economically. Amen. Through our means, amen po ba, tayo po nagpo-provide ng food, meron po tayong Ministry of Compassion, amen po ba, at patuloy po natin itong Finafon. At dahil po tayo ay mga talagang tunay, amen, na pinagpala ng Panginoon, tayo din po ay nagbibless ng iba. Amen po ba? Amen. Dahil tayo, mga taga kayo, Jeff, ay blessed, dapat mag-bless din po tayo. So yung mga tithes of offering, love gifts, pledges nyo po, at yung para sa Ministry of Compassion po natin, ginagamit po talaga natin yan. Amen po ba? And right now, I am knocking to the hearts of each and everyone who is listening to please provide for our um, church bills. Amen po ba? So I hope that you are going to give your tithes, your offering, and with that, you could also give sacrificial giving para po sa ating bills. Amen po ba? So the church is con- continuously expanding. The, tent of the, the house in the tent of the Lord is continuously expanding. But at the same time, as we expand, the needs, the expenses are also increasing. Amen po ba? Sa paglaki po natin, marami din po tayong binabayaran. Amen po ba? At ang Lord ang nagpo-provide at ang Lord ay kumakatok sa bawat isa na ikaw ang mag-provide. Amen? Huwag po natin exempt ang ating sarili. I am not exempted. The man of God is not exempted. The family of the man of God is not exempted. You're a worship leader. You're not exempted. You're a child of God. You're not exempted no matter how old you are. Amen po ba? As long as you are being blessed by the Lord and you are able to give, please do give. Amen? And the Lord's promise is very clear. I will bring blessings to you. Amen? Proverbs 11 verse 25. You will be enriched. Whoever enriches me will be enriched. Amen po ba? So ikaw na nakikinig, OFW ka man, ikaw na nakikinig na nasa Manila, ikaw na nakikinig na walang trabaho. Amen? Magbigay ka. Subukin mo ang Panginoon. Baka matanong mo, wala na nga akong trabaho, magbibigay pa ako. Amen po ba? Kasi nga, ang pangako ng Panginoon, pag inuna mo ako, akong bahala sa iyo. Amen po ba? Kaya ikaw na namang problema kung saan kukunin to, ito, kung saan kukunin tong pambayad, sa ganyan, sa ganito, sa ganito, magbigay ka. Amen po ba? Yun po ang sikreto. It's the secret. Amen? Because you will be enriched. Magbigay ka sa Panginoon, unahin mo siya, and all your plans will be enriched by the Lord as well. Wala pong binigo ang Panginoon. Amen? Wala siyang bibiguin. At sa pagbibigay mo, ikaw yung maghintay. Amen? There will be a perfect time for your um, blessing from the Lord. Amen? So again, brothers and sisters, please continuously give your tithes, your offering. Amen? So tithes the 10% of your um, income or salary. And then we have our offering, whatever your heart's desire is. And then we also have our first fruit. Sa mga hindi pa nakapagbigay. Amen? Kalahati na po tayo ng taon. And also, please do give your love gifts. Amen po ba? So the man and woman of God are full-time ministers. Amen. We also, um, the family of the man of God also has needs. Amen. So uh, let us also provide if we can. But don't worry because the Lord will also bless us. Amen. It's not really the man and woman of God we are blessing, but it's actually God. Amen. Na-bless po ba tayo sa turo nila? Sa turo ng lingkod ng Diyos. Amen. Kung tayo po na-bless, i-bless din po natin sila. Amen po ba? Huwag po tayong makalimot na i-bless ang mga lingkod ng Diyos. Amen po ba? Dahil sabi nga ng Panginoon, ang kanyang mga itinayo, amen po ba? Pag ito'y bless mo, ikaw i-bless din niya. Amen po ba? So, huwag po tayong matakot, huwag po tayong mag-alinlangan, 
na magbigay ng ating tithes, ng ating offering. And also, I would like to point out that this is the time that um, things are getting better. So, sa ating pong mga na, na, nanonood ng live, patuloy po tayo mag-share. Amen? I mean, sharing, watching online is good, but if you could actually um, go to our church, okay din po. Amen? So, we invite you to go to our church. We have 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. Amen? Uh, services. Kung makakapunta po kayo, ma- mas maganda po para makasama namin kayo dito. Amen po ba? At wag po tayong matakot, mahiya, mag-share ng ating live, ng ating um, Facebook post. Amen? Patuloy po tayo nagpo-post ng ating um, ng ating quotes. Amen po ba? Yung mga quotes po natin, talagang marami tayo naabot dyan at nabibless. Amen po ba? So patuloy po natin i-share yan, ang ating live, ang ating quotes, ang ating events. Amen po ba? But going back to our um, uh, tithes and offering, you could give your tithes and offering through the information provided in the caption. So meron po tayong BDO, meron po tayong BPI, meron po tayong China Bank. So China Bank is under Kingdom of Jesus Fellowship International. Yun po yung church uh, bank natin. But if it's more accessible for you to give through your BDO and BPI or GCash, GCash po ang pinakamadali ngayon. Amen? At nagbabayad po tayo ng bills sa GCash. So kung makakapagbigay po kayo sa GCash, mas okay din po para direkta po. Amen po ba? Magbabayaran na naman po tayo ng ating um, kuryente. Amen po ba? So kung ikaw ay hinihi po ng Lord, mag-provide para sa ating um bills para sa kuryente. May God bless you. Amen? So again, give your tithes offering through... Ah, uh, oo pala. Request din pala ng ating praise and worship is ang mixer. Amen po ba? So, marami pong pangangailangan ng church, pero ang Lord ang magpo-provide. Amen? Sabi mo sa atawin mo, ikaw magpo-provide. Amen? So, ikaw ang magpo-provide. Amen? So, binababa ko po ngayon ulit. Binaba ko po noon ng aircon. Andiyan na po siya. Amen? Ang Lord sumagot. Kaya ngayon, binababa ko po ang mixer. Ang Lord po ang magpo-provide. At ikaw ang hinihipo ng Lord. Amen? Magkano gagasusin natin sa mixer, kuya? Mga 60,000 daw po. Ay, naku, napa. Simpleng bagay. Napakaliit lang po. Amen? So, around 60,000. If the best mixer, baka nasa 80,000 yun. No? Yung the best na bilhin natin. Amen po ba? So, again... Tayo po ay mag-provide. Amen po ba? Tayo po ay sumuporta. Lahat po ng ating ibinibigay may pinupuntahan po. Amen po ba? Well, hindi po yan binubulsa or what not. Amen? So again, brothers and sisters, ngayon po ang binababa natin ay bills po ng ating churches, ay ng ating church. Darating na po, amen, si Judith. <laughs> amen po ba? At um, meron po tayong church expansion. Amen po ba? Ito po yung ating mga projects. So, meron po tayong church expansion. Meron po tayong incoming bills to pay. Amen po ba? At meron po tayong babayarang mixer or bibiling mixer para po mapaayos ang ating praise and worship. Amen po ba? Pati po ang ating sound system. At alam ko po na things are overwhelming. Amen po ba? Pero ang sinasabi ng Lord, hindi lang naman ikaw eh. Amen. Marami tayong magtutulungan. Amen po ba? Pero sabihin mo, ako magbibigay ng pinakamalaki. <laughs> Amen. Yan po ang prayer ko lagi hindi ako papayag. Amen na hindi makapagbigay ng malaki. Amen po ba? Dapat po yan yung prayer mo lagi, di ba? Lord, pag binaba na, di ba? Binaba ng lingkod ng Diyos. Ah, may mixer na kailangan. Lord, ako magbibigay. Amen? Dapat po gano'n ang ating declaration. Dahil pag ikaw nakapagbigay, nakapag-donate, ibig sabihin pinagpala ka. Amen po ba? Gano'n lang naman po yun eh. Ang mga nakakapag-donate, nakakapag-bless sa church, sa mga lingkod ng Diyos, talagang mga pinagpala. At talaga sila ay patuloy na pagpapalain. Amen po ba? Kaya dapat ang desire natin, tayo yung isa sa mga talagang malaki mag-donate. Amen po ba? Ibig sabihin kasi pinapayaman talaga tayo ng Panginoon. Amen po ba? So dapat po ang goal natin, pag may binaba, tayong unang, Lord, ako yan, ako magpo-provide. Amen? Dahil may kabigatan akong mag-provide. Amen po ba? At ang pangako ng Lord, you will be enriched. Napakaganda po. Matagal lang sinasabi itong Malachi 3.10, pero ngayon talagang nag-reverberate sa akin siya. Much blessings will be given to you that you will not have enough room for it. Amen po ba? Naisip nyo po ba yun? Ipagbibless daw tayo ng Panginoon to the point na hindi na magkakasya sa ating mga kamay, sa ating mga bahay, sa ating mga wallet. Amen po ba? So again, brothers and sisters, let us not forget the blessing, the promise of God that we will be blessed. Amen? This act of giving is actually for us. Amen. 
para po sa atin to. So again, brothers and sisters, if you are doubting whether where to give your tithes or offering, ibigay po natin sa Kingdom of Jesus Fellowship International. Amen po ba? Amen. Sige po, tayo po ay manalangin. Yes, Father God, Lord, thank you once again for the opportunity that you have given us. Thank you, Lord. Father God, narinig mo po ang mga projects ng KOJF, Father God. Ito'y tinataas namin sa'yo. Lord, lahat ng ito, ikaw ang magpo-provide, Father God. Lord, ikaw ang nagbaba nito, ikaw ang magpo-provide, Father God. Lord, ikaw ang may gusto nito, ikaw ang magpo-provide, Father God. Lord, lahat na ikakaganda, ikatataas ang iyong salita. Father God, ikaka, uh, ikakaganda ng church, Father God, para mas marami pa kaming mahikayat dumalo, Father God. Baka isa katuparan, Father God. At ikaw ang magpaprovide, Father God. Because you are the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, Father God. We are in open heaven, Father God, and you're pouring out your blessings. Lord, ang mixer na yan, ikaw nang bumili, Father God. Lord, ang church expansion na yan, ikaw na, Father God, ang nagprovide. Lord, ang mga bills na babayaran ng church, Ikaw na nag-provide, Father God. Maraming salamat sa mga tao na kinig, hinipo mo, at mga tumugon at tutugon pa, Father God. Lord, this live, Father God, may it reach thousands, millions of people, Father God. And those millions of ears that will listen, they will provide, Father God. Tutugon sila, Father God. And Lord, we pray for the uh, tithes, offering, pledges, love gifts, Multiply, multiply, multiply them, Father God, to more than what we expect, Father God. Lord, pangako mo nga sa Malachi 310, kami ma-overwhelm, kami magugulat, Father God, dahil ikaw ay pag- kami pagpapalain mo higit sa aming inaasahan. Lord, we are excited for this, and we just want to give you back all the praise and glory. At ang bawat isang taga-kayo, Jeff, ay magsabi ng Amen, amen at Amen. So again, brothers and sisters, the information will be provided above at Iniimbitahan ko po na pag kaya po natin dumalo, tayo po'y dumalo. Amen? So, tayo po'y dumalo. Meron po tayong 3 p.m. and uh, 2 p.m. and 10 a.m. services. At ang ating pong Facebook, patuloy po natin suportahan, patuloy pong lumalaki, lumalago ang ating Facebook reach. At ang goal po natin is now ay maka 10,000 um, followers na po tayo para kumita na din po yung Facebook natin. Amen po ba? So, isama po natin sa panalangin ang ating Facebook kailangan po natin maabot yung certain amount of followers para po kumita yung Facebook natin, para po may income ang church natin at magamit po natin. Amen po ba? Amen. Kasi di ba, ang mga malalaking vloggers nga, Diyos ko, magkano kinikita nila, di ba? Dapat ang taga kayo, JF, yung talagang malaking viewers. Amen po ba? Amen. So, wag po natin kalimutan i-share, i-like ang ating Facebook page at tayo po ay mag-victory song bago mag-closing prayer. Amen. Tunay nga na pinagpala tayo ng Lord sa araw na ito at ang victory ay nasa sa atin. Kaya naman, awitan natin siya. Alay ng papuri at pagsamba. For the shadow of a king is among us! We cannot be cursed, for the shot of a king is among us. The weapons of hell will not prosper, for the shot of a king is among us. And we cannot be cursed, for the shot of a king is among us. The weapons of hell will not prosper, for the shot of a king is among us. We will praise the name of Jesus. We will make a joyful noise And we will shout His praise forever Ever and ever and ever For Jesus Christ is King and Lord of Lords We cannot be cursed We cannot be cursed For the shout of a King is among us The weapons of hell will not prosper For the shot of a king is among us We cannot, and we cannot be cursed For the shot of a king is among us The weapons of hell will not prosper For the shot of a king is among us We will praise, praise the name of Jesus 
Amen. Tayo pong lahat ay dumako sa ating closing prayer. Hallelujah. We praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, Lord. Maraming 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 salamat, Lord. Muli, O oh God, pinupuri. Dinadakila ka namin, O oh God. Sa kabutihan mong walang hanggan sa aming mga buhay, Lord. Thank you so much, Father God. At maraming maraming salamat, Panginoon, sa iyong mga salitang nagpapatuloy na aming marinig, Panginoon, at maintindihan at maunawaan, Panginoon. Through Israel, Father God, we are blessed. And thank you for that, Lord. And we will stand for Israel forever, Lord. And we love Israel, Father God. Hallelujah. At patuloy mo nga, Panginoon, na sila'y ingatan at pagpalain. I -i Ingatan, Panginoon, sa anumang tangka, Panginoon, ng mga kaaway, O God. Hallelujah. At Lord, I pray in this last days, in this last time, Lord, na lahat ng tao, Panginoon, ay maintindihan at maunawaan kung ano ang kahalagahan, Panginoon, ng iyong muling pagbabalik, Panginoon, Father God. Hallelujah. I pray, Lord, na tanggapin na po, Panginoon, ang lahat ng katotohanan ng lahat ng tao upang hindi na mahuli pa ang lahat, O God, in Jesus' name. Upang, Lord, nakakatakot, Father God, kung dumating na yung oras, Lord, Father God, na maubusan na sila ng time para magbago pa, Panginoon, sapagkat wala na ang pagmamahal mo sa amin, Panginoon. At ito ibinalik mo na, Panginoon, sa iyong mga pinili, Lord God. Hallelujah. Lord, marami marami pong salamat sa iyong kabutihan. At patuloy na dalangin ko ng iyong mga salita ay maintindihan at maunawaan, Panginoon, ng mas higit pa kaysa sa dati, Panginoon. Lalo pa naming maunawaan, Panginoon, ang kahalagahan, Panginoon, ng bawat oras at minuto ng aming mga buhay, Panginoon. At Lord, masumpungan mo po kami, Panginoon, na namumuhay ayon sa iyong kalooban, sa iyong pagbabalik, Panginoon. Hallelujah. At magsama-sama tayo, Panginoon. Magsama-sama tayong lahat, Lord God, sa iyong kaharian. Hallelujah. Sa pangalan ni Jesus. At Lord, 
Dalangin ko nga po, Panginoon, ang iyong mga lingkod na ginagamit, Panginoon, ay patuloy mong ingatan, patuloy mong pagpalain, O God. Ano man ang kanilang ginagawa, saan man sila pumupunta, Panginoon, ang iyong pag-iingat, ang iyong pagpapala ay sumaka nila, Panginoon. Kasama ng kanilang mga pamilya, i-provide mo, Father God, ang lahat ng needs, Lord, financially, materially, spiritually, Father God, i-provide mo po. At hawakan mo po kami ng maghigpit pa, mahigpit na mahigpit, at upang hindi kami mawala sa iyo, Father God, hallelujah. Magpatuloy kaming malakas tagumpay sa iyong biyaya, magpatuloy kami sa iyong mga salita, magpatuloy kami na gawin ng kalooban mo sa araw-araw ng aming mga buhay. Sa iyo po namin, Mainam na ibinabalik, Lord, ang lahat ng pagsamba, papuri at pagluwalhati sa tanging pangalan lamang po ng aming Panginoon na si Jesus. Amen at Amen.